Question number 7. Diagram 2 shows a straight line AB intersects the curve y equals to gx at point B. Okay, the gradient function of the curve is negative 2x. So gradient function means what? Gradient function means dy dx. Okay, question A. Find the equation of the curve. So we know that dy dx is equals to negative 2x. So if you want to find the curve, you have to integrate the dy dx. So it's integrate negative 2x dx. So you get negative 2x square over 2 plus c. Don't forget plus c. Yeah? Okay, so here you can cut. So your answer is negative x square plus c. Now how to find the c? To find the c, we just need one coordinate, coordinate that lies on the on the curve. Okay, so in this case we have b. It lies on the curve, so we can use that. So 2, 6. Okay, right here. So we're going to substitute 2, 6. So 6 equals to negative 2 square plus c. So c will be equals to 6 plus 2 square is 4. So it's 10. So because of that, we know that the equation is y equals to negative x square plus 10. Okay, so this is your answer for a. Let's see, question b. Calculate the volume generated in terms of pi when the region bounded by the curve, so the curve is here, this is the curve, the, the straight line ab, okay, this straight line ab, and straight line y equals to 1, y equals to 1 is here. Is revolved through 360 degree about the y-axis. So you're uh, rotating, I mean, you revolve around the uh, y-axis. So it's going to be like this, okay, you're rotating like this. So what does it look like? So it's going to be, this is the shaded, I mean, this is the part, right? So it's going to look something like, um, I would say, you know what? You can actually form, okay, I don't know whether you can see this or not. It's going to look something like this. Yeah, something like this. When you rotate, right? I mean, when you revolve, it looks something like this. Lah. Okay, I can't really draw this out, uh, but basically it's like this. Like it's like a round. Yeah, something like this. Okay, it's a so, uh Okay, you know what? Try to imagine. Um, I don't know how to draw this properly, but basically what we're going to do is we are going to find the whole volume bounded by this curve here to the uh, y-axis and then you're going to minus this cone here okay that's how we're going to find the volume okay so the volume first we can find the volume of the cone volume of cone is quite simple so volume of the cone what's the formula so the formula is 1 over 3 pi r square h so which is the radius radius will be from here to here right so the radius we can take 2 here because we know this is 2. So the radius is 2 and the height is, so we know this is 6. Here is 6 but the height of the cone is only until 1 here. So that means the height here is 6 minus 1 is 5. So we're going to use 1 over 3 pi. R is, uh, radius is 2, 2 square and then height is 5. So you get 2 square 4 times 5, 20. So 20 over 3 pi. Okay, you need Q. Okay, so this is the volume of the cone. So now you want to find the volume of this region, right? That we are going to find. So we have to take the volume of the entire thing bounded by this curve, this curve here. And we're going to minus this cone. Okay, so let me do, I think I better do it down here. Okay, so you want to find the volume we're going to take the volume equals to, so the volume bounded by the curve, right? So the curve is going to be from the range of here, 6, 6 to 1, right? This is the range we're going to take. So it's going to be 1, okay, let me scroll down, 1 to 6, huh? 1 to 6. And this one is going to be, because it's on the, on the y-axis, so it's going to be this pi here, and then x squared dy. Okay, this is the for the formula. So we're going to find a equation that has the subject of x square. Since we are bounded by the curve, we have to use this equation. Okay, so rearrange this equation, you get 
x square equals to 10 minus y. So we're going to use, since it's already x square, we're going to use this 10 minus y. So here 10 minus y. So it's going to be, okay, wait, before that here must minus the volume of the corner. So your answer here is, I mean, it's going to be, so here it's going to be 10 minus y dy minus 20 over 3, right? 20 over 3 pi. Okay, that's the volume of the cone. Okay, so we have to integrate this part. So you get 10y minus y square over 2. And then here is 6, 1. 20 over, minus 20 over 3 pi. Okay, so when you substitute 6, okay, when you substitute 6, you get 42. And when you substitute 1, you should get 9.5. So 42 minus 1.5. And then don't forget to minus 20 over 3 pi. So your final answer you should get is 155 over 6 pi. Unit cube. Okay, so this is your answer. So basically, we are going to find the volume of the entire... I still don't know how to uh, explain. But basically this, the entire thing, and then minus this volume of the cone. Okay. So, so that we get this part. Okay, so I hope you all understand what I'm saying. And yeah, that's how you solve this.